my channel, Glow with Candice. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to see you back on my channel. Today, I am gonna go over a newfound love of a mascara that I've been wondering where it's been my whole life and why nobody talks about this mascara because I feel like it flies under the radar for sure. So before I get started, I just want to say how I stumbled across this by getting it in one of those, I guess like you spend so much at Ulta and you get some samples. So that's how I stumbled across this mascara. So I got it in the mini version, the travel size, and I fell in love and I'm in love. So what mascara is this? Well, it's the Damn Girl from Too Faced Mascara. So it claims to be a 24 hour mascara and it is, it's amazing. Like this is one of the only mascaras that do not come off around my eyes. I don't have to check throughout the day and that is just something I struggle with with almost all my mascaras. I also find that this mascara gives me volume and length, which I also struggle to get both in a mascara. However, I do also use my, uh, my primer that gives me the volume too. So it goes hand in hand with the primer that I also love to use from L'Oreal, which is the luminous, uh, luminous primer, which this stuff is amazing and it's drugstore and very affordable. But this, oh my. So I haven't used the full size virgin, which read, virgin, virgin. Oh my God. Oh, what's on Candace's mind? Not that, I promise. <laughs> I haven't purchased the full version of this. So that retails for $29. This one retails for $17. I recently was using it and loving it during the, the buy one get one free mini sale at Ulta. And so I ended up buying another mini um, because I loved this. So I can't really attest for, sometimes the smaller tubes are different than the normal size. Now I will say, mascaras, they say that you should throw them out after three months because of the bacteria in them. And I'm sure we're all guilty of using mascara and other things longer than we should. Um, mascara is one of the things I try to follow though because my eyes are super sensitive and they get dry eyed and irritated very easily and if I do use mascara too long, they do bother my eyes. So with that being said, I'm kind of enjoying having a mini version because I've already been using this mascara for over a month now and it hasn't dried out. I will notice I should say it's dry, it feels a little drier than when I first started wearing it, but it's still doing a phenomenal job and I think I can go another couple months. And I'm not paying the $29 either. Also, a mini is just easier to throw in your purse, in your wallet, in your pocket, wherever. So that's also a nice thing too. And can we not, I mean, the packaging is just adorable on this. It kind of reminds me of like a crystal or something. And of course it's, it's white, or not white, it's pink and bright and reflective. So I absolutely love that as well. But I never hear anybody talk about Too Faced Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara. Never ever have I ever. And so I've never ever wanted to try it. And let's be honest, I don't really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It falls off under me, it's hard to get off. I just don't like it. However, I did purchase some recently in the 21 Days of Beauty, just to see, because it's been so many years since I've used it. I just kind of wanted to see if maybe the formula is different or maybe it does better on me now. I don't know, but uh, everybody talks about that one and it just, it doesn't work for me. But nobody talks about this one. And so I wanna get that out there, that this mascara is just amazing for me. Uh, I love that it gives me the volume, it gives me the length, and granted, I also use my primer that gives me the volume, so I feel like it goes hand in hand. So I'm just gonna read you a little bit about this mascara because quite frank, I didn't really know anything of it. I was just like, well, here's a free sample that I, I'm, I need a new mascara to wear because my other one was dried out and I didn't have anything else, so I opened it up and voila, here we are now, a month and a half 
I would say a little bit over a month now. So uh, the smaller version retails for $17 um, and it's Too Faced Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara is a high intensity mascara for shocking volume and dramatic, dramatic lift and curl, which I totally agree to. It's volume, volumizing, lengthening, non-flaking, non-smudging, non-fading, deep black color intensity. Formula delivers an immediate full load of extreme volume without a heavy feel. Ophthalmologist tested, vegan, cruelty free, paraben free. And then in a consumer study of 104 women, 97 said, 97% uh, said they saw full on volume, 100% said they saw intense black lashes, 99% said they saw long wearing results. Yeah, definitely. 95% said they saw long lasting curl. It has whipped melting waxes which melt into each other to create one weightless super layer lash suspension polymer lifts and looks in curl locks and curl hydrophilic black which creates shamelessly rich black lashes now it's funny reading the reviews on this a lot of people say this dries out really bad now I do have the smaller version so uh, and like I said I've noticed it dry out a slight bit with using it I'd say three to four times a week um, for a little bit over a month now and it's not I can still use it it's doing great now I can't attest for the full-on version but like I said um, since the full version is much more expensive and with how frequently I need to buy mascara and how we should, I guess. Uh, I think the mini version works out perfect for as much as I use it. And I trust this mascara when I'm wearing it. I don't have to look in the mirror for hours. Like, I know it's not gonna smudge. I'm not gonna look like I got black paint under my eyes. It's just, I trust it and I love what it does. And I think that I have found my mascara. There's other videos that I've done on mascara and at first I thought I really loved them but then over time they just don't wear like I thought they did. And this does! And I can attest because I've been wearing it now for a while and it's been doing great. Oh my gosh. So I recommend this mascara if you're looking for volume, if you're looking for length, if you're looking for something that's non-smudging, and it's cruelty free too, which I know some of you only use those products. So that's awesome in my opinion. Downfall is it's a little pricey for what it is, but if you can get it on sale like I did or buy the mini version, I swear that's what is heaven, it's heaven sent for me. So I wanted to get this out there, get people known about Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara from Too Faced. I'm also gonna insert a picture here of my eyelashes up close so that way you can see how it looks because I feel like that is so important to see how it looks on someone. Um, I also do not wear fake lashes, so I like something that gives me as much of an effect that they can with that for me. So I want the length, I want the volume, but who doesn't? Thanks for stopping by with Glow with Candace. I hope you enjoyed this recommendation and review on the Too Faced Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara. If you like what you saw, hit the like button down below. And if you're new here and like what you saw and wanna come back, hit the subscribe button because I'd love to have you back. But until next time,